Hello, hello. So I thought I would show you how to install Ubuntu 20.04.1 LTS. And I'm doing this on real hardware. <coughs> I'm using the Camlink 4K to uh, record the other computer. <coughs> and during installation, I uh, will have to sort of add the Camlink again because seem to have a little bit of an issue when the computer changes resolution. But anyway, let's see here. Just to save. Yeah, it's a really old computer. It's a hard drive. It's an old 500 gig hard drive. And when the screen goes green, I have to add the cam link again. So let's see. Right now you just see the keyboard and the human at the bottom. And the blinking cursor. And now I need to add the cam link again. I need to do the weird shit. Um, Kyoki, Camlink, and now it's just going to uh, check the disk for the installation media. I know that you can cancel it with Control C, but I'm just going to let this go and pause for now. So yeah, get back to you later. Okay. It's almost done. Let's see what it does next. And of course, I'm going to pause when it's doing just some installation and stuff. I'm just re recording what you have to do. It's pretty easy to install. So let's see if we can actually capture this again. I can link. Okie dokie. Okay, okay. okay, it's doing some, uh, let's see, transform like that. Okay, it's doing. 1920 by 1200 for some weird reason, but uh, okay. So, <clears throat> this is the first skin you get, and you can of course try Ubuntu if you want to. It's going to be really slow if you have an optical disk running this, but I'm just going to install it here, so English is default. You can select whatever language you want Ubuntu to be on. And then you click here, install Ubuntu. Then the keyboard layout. <clears throat> if you have an English, you can just click continue. But I have a Swedish keyboard. So I have to scroll down to Swedish over there and Swedish at the top. And I just use the normal installation. You get the web browser and utilities and stuff. And also the updates. And I also select install third party software for graphics and stuff and Wi Fi. Uh, if you have a graphics card from NVIDIA, I suggest you actually check this box because it will install the NVIDIA drivers during, during installation. I always have issues um, with the Nuvo drivers, the default drivers, the computer keeps freezing up and whatever. So, but after this, uh, it seems to be working. So if you have Nvidia card, I suggest you just check this box. And <clears throat> continue. And it's going to take a little while. So just get back. 
Okay, so next screen, it will uh, ask you to erase disk. If you have like Windows installed before this, it you get an extra option saying like install Ubuntu next to Windows or whatever. Uh, I want to do a clean install, so I don't want anything else on the drive, so I just have this erase disk. Um, yeah, advanced features have none there. Uh, and then install now. And you get this little question, write changes to disk, and of course you want, so you continue. And now it's going to select your region, and I'm in Sweden, so yeah, it's Stockholm is correct. Then you're going to type your username, uh, and then the computer name, it's what's going to show up on the network and stuff. This is the Q6600 CPU. I name my computers with the CPU it has inside of it. Username and then password. Then continue. And right now it's just going to install everything. This is going to take a little while, so I get back to you when the next sort of option you need to do something. So yeah, I just let this run for a while. So I get back to you. Okay, so uh, when the installation is done, you get this the window and I need to restart computer and now it's going to actually re eject not reject but eject my CD for the installation media because otherwise the computer will boot to the installation again so <laughs> let's add this video capture device again so you can see what it says. So when it's ejected, you get this message. So I'm just going to remove my CD actually. And then press enter. Let's see if it actually... Yeah, it's booting up. And I have to actually add it again. <laughs> kind of weird stuff that you have to add the cam link all the time. Really? There we go. So let's see if this works this time. I had some issues before. There were some weird issues with the NVIDIA thing and it got some kernel panic and stuff. But now it seems to be fine. I think it had to do with the new 5.8 kernel or whatever. And let's see if I can add this again. Let's see. Can link. No, I can't see anything. I guess it's the login screen. Yeah, that's the mouse at least. The mouse cursor. Previously, I just got the black image here at the login screen before. Oh, here we go. I actually got the screen. So let's see, I just press enter here and my password. OK, 
Okay, I don't seem to be having to add another one. No, here we go. It's a mechanical hard drive, so it's pretty slow. It's a SATA 2 hard drive as well. Here you can connect to different online accounts. I don't do that. Uh, not right now, at least. Uh, I don't set up live patch either. Yeah, Canonical can get some system information. Yeah, I can activate that as well. I don't mind. You're good to go. You can use software to install apps like these. It's looking for it. Just click done. And now you have Ubuntu installed. And uh, if you got like Nvidia, you could actually, let's see where we have that. Um, not software. I don't remember. The graphics drivers from Nvidia. You go to additional drivers. And you can <coughs> should be able to see here if the Nvidia what Nvidia drivers are installed. And this computer have a really old 8800 GT card. So uh, those drivers will be old. It can't really use the latest drivers. Yeah, here you can see using binary drivers 340. Uh, you can add a lot more newer drivers. Um, then you go to Ubuntu software, I think it was, or other software. Yeah, here and. Uh, you click add and here you type like I think it was just PPA colon graphics dash drivers add source Yeah, that one, and then just close, and it you will ask if you want to reload the uh, stuff, the, uh, I don't know what it's called, the cache stuff. Let's see if this works. Should work. <laughs> Worked on my previous computer at least. Okay, took a little while. Yeah, uh, remind me later. So if we go to back to software and updates, the pink one. Purple one and additional drivers. It's going to search again for new drivers. I don't I don't know how this works for AMD graphics. Okay. Yeah, that's the GeForce. But if you have a newer graphic cards from NVIDIA, you probably get a bunch of more newer up uh, like the 400 series drivers and you can select one, that one and apply changes and get the latest drivers nvidia drivers okay then the next thing i actually do i usually update ubuntu from the terminal and sudo uh, uh, update so refreshing the list
like that. And then I'm just going to do the arrow key up and then up, grade. And yes, now it's going to install a bunch of updates. And I get back to you. Okay, that was a lot of updates. So the next thing I actually do is to the way just upgrade. And there's nothing more. Uh, and there's no there's an update that's no longer required. And it says do sudo IPT auto remove. And it will automatically just remove that stuff. Now you're done. Uh, kind of. Uh, if you have installed Ubuntu on an SSD or NVMe, you can manually do a trim command so that it will trim the SSD. Uh, I think Ubuntu does this automatically now and then, but I do it manually anyway, once a week. So that's sudo fs trim dash a and dash v, and it will show you the result of this. Uh, this computer doesn't have any SSD in it, it's just mechanical drive, so this command doesn't work, or it doesn't do anything. Uh, but if you have an SSD or NVMe, you can do this like once a week. The trim command to keep the uh, SSD sort of fresh or speedy. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Ubuntu. And after all the updates, uh, you need to kind of reboot the computer. But I'm not, not going to do that, but this is kind of how I install. Ubuntu and the initial setup. So, catch you later.